Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem pangrams. Roy wanted to increase his typing speed for programming counters. His friend suggested that he type the sentence the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog repeatedly. This sentence is known as a pangram because it contains every letter of the alphabet. After typing the sentence several times Roy became bored with it. So he started to look for other pangrams. Given a sentence, determine whether it is a pangram. We need to ignore the cases. We will convert all the cases to lower case. Let's check the constraints. The length of the string can go up to 10 to the power of 3. That's a reasonable length, so we can deal with that. Still, we can solve the problem in order of n. Let's see some examples. Here the sample input. We prompted Judge Dantic Avery Buckles for the next price. And the output is it is a pangram. All the letters of the alphabet are present in the string. That's why it is a pangram. Let's see some other input. We promptly judged Antic Avery Buckles for the price. They removed next from the previous input. And it is not a pangram because the string lacks an X. Only one letter is missing. Still, it's not a pangram. Now, to solve this problem, we need to check all the letters are present in the string. First, we are going to convert all the characters to lowercase and we are going to use the set operation. In the set operation, only unique letters will be stored and apart from that, we need to remove the spaces. So, we will deal with that and finally, we need to check whether the length of the set is equal to 26, that is the number of lowercase alphabets. Okay, let's solve the problem by typing the code. We will create a variable for uh, storing the temporary set equals set of s dot lower. It will convert all the characters to lowercase and we are using the set operation to find the unique characters. From the set, we are removing a blank spaces. I am creating a set with a blank space this subtraction operation will remove the blank space from the string. Now let's print the string to see what's in there. Print temp run it. Now it shows some error. It's not a problem. All the unique letters are listed here. And we are also remove the spaces from the string. Now we need to check for the final condition. This is create a set with unique characters. Now for the main logic, if length of temp equals 26, that is the total number of alphabets. If it satisfies, we need to return pangram. else written not pangram. By using the set operation, we can find all the characters in the alphabet is present in the string or not. Okay, let's run it. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Yeah, we solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and subscribe the channel for future videos. See you later guys.